If you're listening to this video, I'm assuming that you're studying for the Natural Sciences Admissions Assessment, NSAA, and are looking for some more information on how to ace Section 2. Today, I'm going to be breaking down Section 2 of the NSAA to give you everything that you need to know in order to start your revision for this section, as well as sharing some top tips to help you on your way if you've already started studying. For starters, let's discuss the format of Section 2. There are three parts, of which you are required to answer only one part. The three parts are called X, Physics, Y, Chemistry, and Z, Biology. Each part contains 20 multiple choice questions, so you answer 20 total questions in this section. As I mentioned in my Section 1 video, calculators are not allowed in any section of this exam, so Section 2 is non-calculator. The timing in Section 2 is slightly less chaotic, for lack of a better word, than Section 1. You have 60 minutes to complete Section 2, the same as for Section 1, but there are half as many questions. This gives you 60 minutes for 20 questions, or 3 minutes per question. As you'd probably expect, because the time per question is longer, the questions are also longer. You are given a lot more information to read in order to answer the question, and your working out will usually contain more steps. But that's okay. From my perspective, certainly for the chemistry questions, this makes the question more similar in style to those that you might see in an A-level paper, where you would be expected to do more steps to reach your answer. So now let's talk about how marks are awarded in section 2. As in section 1, each correct answer is worth one mark, and there is no negative marking in section 2 either. However, you will have to work a bit harder for that extra one mark than you did in section 1, owing to the longer questions. For two sections, even though one is worth twice as much marks than the other, are weighted the same in the final result, meaning that each Section 2 question is twice as important. The specification provided by the university tells you all of the content that you are required to know and understand for the exam. Section 2 assumes knowledge of Section 1, including the maths, so make sure that you read the specification for both Section 1 and 2 before completing Section 2. Chemistry has also got extra content labelled Advanced Chemistry in the specification, and Physics Section 2 has extra specification parts Advanced Physics and Advanced Mathematics. You will need to make sure that you cover whichever extra sections are required for the subject you wish to answer the question for. You can find the specification on the Cambridge website. Now I'll share my top tips for Section 2. Number 1. Practice past paper questions. Within the last few years, the format of Section 2 has changed, from long answer questions to multiple choice questions. This means that the bank of available NSAA past paper questions for Section 2, which match the style of the current exam, is more limited than it is for Section 1. This is not too much of a big deal though, since Section 1 papers are a good practice for the style of the exam, and the old style Section 2 questions can still give you an idea of the kinds of multi-step question you'll be asked in the new style section 2. Therefore, I would still encourage you to give some old section 2 past papers a try. Tip number 2. Practice some questions under timed conditions. Since your stock of past papers in the current style is really limited to NSAA specimen paper, I would suggest maybe saving this paper to try under proper timed conditions, almost like a mini mock test. You are also given lots of information per question, which means that you need to be able to read, understand, and pick up important information quickly, so it's a good idea to practice this before you attempt the real thing. Tip number three, make sure that you're happy with your units. Being able to convert between units, for example, cubic centimeters and cubic decimeters, quickly and accurately in your head is going to be important for all parts of this exam, so get comfortable with doing this without a calculator. Hopefully you now feel well prepared to take on NSAA Section 2. If you want some more information about the exam in general, including my NSAA top tips, check out our articles available online. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video and want to unlock the rest of the course, which includes over 1,000 NSAA questions, 20 hours of NSAA tutorials, and work solutions to all the past papers, click the link in the description below.